A good weekend for the fair, nice weather, and today caps the end of that first weekend of the Spokane County Interstate Fair, and organizers say they're happy with the turnout. There are a few changes to the fair this year, though, that, are some, that some of them, rather, are keeping families away. KXO Force Colleen O'Brien is live at the fair, and it's the first time in almost a decade that the price of admission was raised. That's right, the first time in eight years that they've had to raise the prices at this fair. Both the child and adult tickets increased by $2.00. And uh, organizers say they had to to keep up with the cost of operations. Thank you. How many of us are there? About 50, 60 bucks. 27, because she was free. Almost 40 bucks. Though prices are up, it didn't seem to slow down anyone at the fair today. It doesn't really matter to me because it's just a tradition to go every year. And so whatever it costs, we'll just pay to get in. But the new price of admission is leaving some out of the fun. Many of you said on our Facebook page that you're skipping the fair. Who has that kind of disposable income these days? <laughs> Prices went up for the first time in eight years. Tickets for admission went from five to seven for kids, from eight to ten for adults. Then there's food an eight dollar Italian sausage, maybe a five dollar jumbo corn dog. Don't forget the rides where you do have a little wiggle room. Still, the all day pass is 30 bucks a pop. Bare minimum, a family of four with those options will spend close to $150. It's seven bucks for a sandwich, it's six bucks for a thing of fries, it's six dollars for a corn dog. You know, that's borderline ridiculous, but you gotta eat when you're here all day. Fortunately, once you get in, there are a few free activities, like the 4-H barns that act as a petting zoo. Just coming to the fair and having the experience and making it about the kids rather than about the money is kind of how I look at it. That's the right attitude for the fair. If you're thinking about not coming this year because of the price, keep in mind that the fair does offer incentives. It's on their website. They have a whole list of free admission days, including next Sunday. That's coats for kids. It's something that KXLY hosts. If you bring us a coat, we'll give you a ticket for a free admission for a child 13 and younger. Live at the fair, Colleen O'Brien, KXLY 4 HD News.